Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we're going to talk about the uh, synchronization of Windows 10. The sync settings actually are, are changing and depending on the version of Windows 10 that you are in you will see either what I see or maybe see one more uh, setting that you can actually synchronize. So if you go into your start menu and into the settings you will actually then go into accounts and you'll see that there's a sync your settings on the left. Now, if you're in an older version of Windows 10, one option that you don't see here that you might see on your machine is synchronizing the themes. So you might have sync settings, themes, password, language preferences, and other Windows settings. I'm on 22H2, I've moved this machine to the latest 22H2 and notice that the sync settings have removed the theme. So this is interesting, it matches now what Windows 11 has because Windows 11 has removed theme. So um, that's interesting, that means that theme synchronization might not be allowed anymore between computers. But apart from that, if you have several Windows 10 machines, um, and even Windows 11 machines and Windows 10 machines, it will actually um, synchronize between those. You actually can act uh, activate sync settings. If you don't want that to happen, if you want each machine to be, you know, autonomous with its own settings and its own, um, like uh, every machine being different, you can turn off the settings sync. But um, you have to be in the same Microsoft account, it's very important. And if you are, turning on on will sync passwords, will sync the language preferences that you have. It will sync what is other Windows settings, it's kind of very vague, but it is all sorts of things like if you have custom resolutions, uh, custom mouse pointer, size, colors, and all sorts of little things like that. Uh, everything that you have, uh, that is unique that you have changed in your settings. Now, not all of them, but most of them will actually also apply to your new computer. So when you actually log in and set up your new computer, for example, and have the same Microsoft account, you should have that uh, synchronized. If you still have the whole themes, then that will also synchronize with your new machine. I have an impression that maybe they removed themes because it was the one that was the most annoying for a lot of people. They didn't want to have the same theme on every machine. But uh, remember, if you want to have, like I said, autonomous machines with the same Microsoft account, just turn off the sync settings on each machine so that they don't interfere with each other at all. Else you'll see changes happen. Now, sync has changed a lot since the first versions of Windows 10. It used to do a lot more. Um, I guess maybe over time they decided that it should be a less. Um, one more thing, if you have only one PC, you might say, well, you know, I don't need to sync any settings. I got one PC. It actually could be a very good idea to turn it on anyways because the settings are sent to your Microsoft account in the cloud, which means if you reinstall or if you get a new PC, once you actually log into your Microsoft account, your settings will actually come back on your machine the way they were on either your previous Windows install or your previous machine that you had before. So it could also be useful for users of only one computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.